right, so today we'll be replacing a cylinder. Uh, this one's been ripped out by an emergency company. You will not believe how much they charge to take this out. We've got a new one there that we ordered um, from Glidel. Uh, so yeah, let's get it in. I can't find the isolation for that. So if I knock that, that's going to be live. There's no isolation, so... Um, have to be careful here. So I think the first thing we do is make up the cylinder, get the ball cock in, get the airflow in, and get it in there. So this is the case of do as I say, not as I do. I do make a stupid mistake in this one. Looking back on it, I don't know what I was thinking. It's one of the moments where I thought, yeah, that'll do. I can do that, and I shouldn't have. So I'm going to show you how to replace a cylinder in this one. Take a look at the stupid mistake that I make. Don't do this. And I'm going to show you the Magna Cleanse results from the heat exchanger we replaced a few weeks ago. I'll show you how we've done the clean on that. So I want to say thank you again for all your support. Really, really appreciate it. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do. It really help me out. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Like the video. Let's take a look at this week's work. I've just found out on this uh, horseman clock. If you take it out, be careful because obviously it's live at the back. There's a little switch there. You see? Sure, it's there actually says off put it into the middle you turn it off that's isolated it now fair play to the customer he showed me that i didn't never knew that on these horseman ones but yeah that's safely isolated that now so i ain't got worry about electrocuting myself happy days to be fair that switch is quite hard to turn on and off but better safe than sorry so yeah actually i'm gonna defer i should pop the cylinder in and just see where it's going to sit to line up with the immersion so I think I'm going to have it like that, immersion will go in there, oh, actually, it's for a second, because I want to make sure I can get the immersion out, and you can still get to this, so that should be okay there, there's plenty on that wire, um, the hot, I'm going there, straight round to there, drying off, I can bring that round to here, so it's nice and accessible, um, but yeah, I have not so, out right there, drying off there. Exactly the same, that's all. I thought they'd give me an indirect, but they haven't because I can see straight through there to the other side. So I'm going to have to blank these off. So I'll blank them two off, cut some holes in the top for the flat belt and the old flow. Uh, yeah, can get that in and get it popped up. So the seal image, I've got the fiber washer, I've got some Loctite, using Loctite 55 and some paste. Now, I've actually heard of people using that rapid blue stuff on these. Don't do that. Don't do that. Next person that comes on, they am going to cut and scream at you. So, let's get that tightened in. And give me emergency man on it, get that tightened up. Right, so, emergency in. And we've got a 15mm, there they half inch 15mm, then we inch to 22mm. So, I'll drain off hot. Yeah? Don't know why. The front is under these two other connections. You see, you see straight through, so I don't, I don't know. I sent all the measurements off to the supplier, I told them exactly what I needed and I sent that, so done that. One we have to do is blank them off, just blank them off. Um, so yeah, a couple of connections in there, stab a pipe and a blank on it. That's, that's what I'm going to have to do on that. So yeah, I'll just get them in, get it blanked off, and we're going to cut the holes out for the ball valve and the offload. Top one's blanked, bottom one blanked. Got a bit of paste on it, don't mind there. Uh, the paste we use, uh, Jet Lube V2 Plus, they all had that donkeys. Don't know, just the stuff we use. Of course, it's better or worse than anything else. The only one I don't like is, um, is it Hawkwhite by Fernox? That stuff's crap, but that stuff's pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's get these to end in. All right, see, I've cut the hole. So you can use a, I mean, you're already supposed to use them with full wood, but then we'll work. But we've used a spade bit, so I couldn't find the right size for that. Just took it really slow. It did catch it. It did catch it that. Hold on, let me show you. Towards the end, you see? But, wash right over that. There you go. That's so how you make the hole. So you can only use, you, only, you can get metal bits that will be, you know, put you a nice clean hole, but. I ain't got them, so I'm going to use over a hole for all my spade bits, but it's worked fine. Wash out that, that's a ball valve in, put the alpha in. Yeah, that should be the cylinder all prepped to try it in position. Right. I'll flow cold in, don't use them to cut the hole. I got lucky with that one, that one's 
flying off. Stupid me. Get yourself a metal cutter. Don't be like me. We've got you now. Both holes cut, sealed, done, all flowing, all connections on. I'm going to try it in place now to see what uh, pipe work alteration we've got. Just show you inside. That's your vent pipe from the cylinder. That's your fill into the cylinder. And obviously it's got the lid rise on top. Just like that. Trying to cut it out with the, the wrong tool. I'm just knackered that. I'm going to get a bottom metal one now though. Because, um, yeah, that was just... I'll be honest with you, it's stupid. I should have... Um, but I, I haven't got a metal cutter. Um, normal spade bit would have been better. That's just knackered that up. It's only a cheap set anyway. This was some screwing. It's still me fair though, but I think I'm going to get an all material one now. Um, so I'll go for in the future. So, don't use a spade bit or these. I think a normal spade bit would be okay, but the ones um, twisted like them, that Bosch set, just cheers you up. Yeah, that made it all time, really though. If you're new to the channel, I'll just put everything in my videos before I get it right wrong. So, I got that one wrong. I should have got a bar metal cutter, but you can learn through my mistakes. How's that? <laughs> so, yeah, let's move on to getting this in and doing stuff. Right, that's in place. So, immersion can go onto the pot. It's going to come up. Into there, it's dry enough. I'm going to bring it round to here so it's nice and accessible. And the coal is bob on perfect, that can just dry back in. I am going to cut in um, a long scale juice in here at the customer's request. Overflow, I can redo that. Um, yeah, I think what I'll do is uh, what I'm going to do first. Uh, still top, work away from the top, work our way down, get that part in. Alright, so I've just attached the coal to the cylinder. I've got my long scale juicer in, so what we can do now is just mark, cut that, and that'll be the coal all connected. I'm going to the old flow though. I don't know how to use the old one, because the old one will just go straight in. Mm. I'll have a look at that in a minute, because if I bring it straight off that, it's going to hit the cylinder. Bit of crap design, but anyhow, here's what it is. But yeah, let's get that cut down and get the coal connected now. Right, coal's all tightened in, new fire brush on there, that's all tightened up, so I want to get this connected so I can fill it up, then I can have a look at the hot flow. Um, for the hot connection, that connection there is actually off a of Baxi 813, and I was piping up a um, Baxi and I didn't need that, but I'll keep them in my van. Yeah, it's going to be perfect there, that should um, help them straight to there, drain off, just bent a bit of pipe, bring it straight back around here, coupler, drain off, sorted. So yeah, that'll be nice and easy to drain down in the future. So yeah, I'm going to have to get that connection just there, solder that in, solder drain off onto there. That should be near enough ready to fill up. So hot's all in now, that's all soldered up now. I'm looking for no leaks, not, you know, show off pipe work. So plenty of solder in there. Uh, drain off down here. You can see now you can just, I was bike on there, straight out to the toilet right next to me. That's nice and accessible. Um, let's have a look at the electrics now. This is how the engineer tried it down, left the electrics. Just types up like that. Not even a connector block, but anyhow. Um, so yeah, drive goes into your stat. Uh, neutral goes on that connection. Earth goes on there. So yeah, drive, neutral, earth. All right, so I this all in, live neutral earth. I finished off the condensate spot to get it all done before I filled up. I was gonna fill up while I was doing the not the contact, the outflow. But how many of you, when I was moaning about this being too close to her, screaming at me, just turning. Just turning. <laughs> I'll just turn it, Alba down. Outflow's all done. Hot scene. Just check, yeah, yeah, it's closed that. Whoever uh, took this out has closed that. Bit of gate valve roulette, anyone? Hopefully that's worked. Uh, yeah, that's all tight. That is ready to go. I've tightened that. Let's see what happens. Nothing, because it's rock solid. Here we go. Made, made and void. Cylinder's all full now. Uh, just open a hot tap. Mmm. Gonna get air locked out. Come on. I had a big gurgle of water then, but might be airlocked. Alright, so if you get an airlock like that, best thing to do is open the hot tap, put your hand over that, 
give it a really good force in it then open the cold i can't do it on camera because i need two hands hold it on so the cold is being forced up the hot and it'll push the air out let your hand go leave the hot open then that should clear the air lock we'll do that and it should clear easily yeah i can hear the sound of filling back up and that should there you go so hop back on no leaks happy days Put the immersion on, give it a boost, that should ease up the hot water. All filled up, got the immersion on, put that on the boost just to warm up. Um, yeah, putting the drone off there is going to make people's lives easier in the future. Yeah, we need to drain it down, put the lid back on top. I did adjust the ball cock level. Um, so yeah, that is all done. Yeah, when doing the moles, that is a baby. What was I thinking? You know what I was thinking? I don't have nothing else to critique with as well. I am going to get myself set now though, do not, do not attempt that. Do not attend that. I got lucky with that to be honest with you. So do as I say, not as I do. All right, so we're back at that air change. We replaced that one. So that's how some cleaning in there for about a week. We're back now to do 80 band cleans. We're going to get an 80 band cleans in there. See how much muck we've got in there. We did leave the cleaner in. So let's see how much is actually in the filter. So band cleans all set up. Remember the return. That's into return. Return into the bottom, sorry. So return into the bottom, top into the top. With the cam locks, it's easy with these. Push them right in and pull these down together. So the adapter and everything you get in with the magna cleanse and it goes straight in to the original magna cleanse valve. So that's all set up now. And get some cleaner in there and get it going. So all this pressurized in service mode, hose all connected, bled the canisters. You can see it's not looking too bad at the moment. And we let the cleaner run for about half hour, 45 minutes. Then we're going to start cleaning the system. So let the cleaner go around, do a bit of magic. Then we're going to properly clean the system. Now doing a bag clean is normally my go-to on like a straight swap combi or whether I've got a clean system out, I do get good results off it. So if you're doing an install, don't go around the bleed radiators. These work better when there's just about enough water in the radiators because the water will move across the bottom. That's where the sludge is when you agitate it. You know, got all the water in the right side. Don't, if you're doing a boiling install, you're going to do a mag cleanse. Don't bleed the system. Just leave a little bit of water in the bottom. And it'll make the clean go a lot quicker. Um, obviously, on this one, it's already full. Uh, add a little bit of gurgling out of the radiators. Uh, but I'm not going to end bleed them. Just leave them as they are. And then we're going to go around and agitate them. And I'll show you the process that we do to do the agitation and get the best clean that we can. Right, it's been on. Now, 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 roasting, roasting. Um, so we do, go around all the radiators, turn it all off apart from one, so I'll just go up to the lock shields. It's a good time to ban the system as well actually, so I'll turn the lock shields off, that's what I normally do. You do TRVs if you want, but lock shields and better because you get to balance it. Turn all lock shields off apart from one radiator, then you want to agitate one radiator. So that's what we use for the radiator, it's a uh, vibe clean, it comes with the magma clean set. So you just put that in your hammer drill, put it onto hammer, then I normally go across the bottom, like that. And up and down as well all on one radiator just so it's clean at the one radiator then you'll see the difference in the color so what i'll do i'll show you on one one radiator i'll do this one as dated you can see it's right next to the boiler you can see on the hose is the difference it'll make one hose will go completely jet black from all the muck that comes out of the radiators and you should do that for all the radiators you see the difference after the agitation lovely you can see on camera but can you see there's a colour difference between the two that's the water coming back out and that's water getting back into the boiler and so i've just did that a little agitation and yeah you can see the difference already so without the agitation you won't get as good as clean so the agitator really does make the difference on these mag pens so i'm just going to do that for all the radios now and see how much more we get out let's see if we do a bit better on this one i will turn the volume down The difference in the pipe, hopefully. There you go. Just the difference. So, yeah, the agitations was wonders for getting them okay. The system, so I said, we'll do that for every single radiator. Yeah, it should uh, just give the system a good clean. There you go. Not saying which we got here now. I have some these fat as anything, uh, but that's decent to be fair. With the main flush, I've got drain off fully open, fin loop is fully open. So the pressure is just about half a bar, and I've got that this valve closed off here. So what will happen is it'll go through the filling loop, down the flow, round the radiators. This is the return. 
to the return normally would go through here, through the filters, then back to the boiler through this one. But because I've got this one locked off, it can't get back through the boiler, so the only escape route through the water is down the drain off. So if I fill that flat pipe, it is freezing cold. This one needs to be lukewarm. So you'll know when it's done properly. So you can do it just like um, you did earlier by turning off all the radiators. So I'll just do one radiator at a time. So you clean out one radiator. You can actually them again if you want. Depends what level of clean you want to go through. But how um, much was on them radiator, uh, them magnets? It wasn't the worst. Um, so yeah, I'll be happy just doing main flush on this without the agitation through each each radiator. So yeah, we we'll just do that. Get all the clean out. Then we can get the in between. The magnet cleans all off now cleaned off the magnet so I've got a nice clean magnet and I'm just going to get some MC1 in there and we go just take the full tub as well there we go there we know that system is well protected it's got the in between it's going to spill oh look at that ok they designed it so it's take the full one so magnet back on sharpen the valves New exchange on that. Nice clean system. Yeah, there you go. Top pressure up in that. That is job done. Yeah, the clean's got a fair amount here, I would say. Fair amount. Um, tell the worst I've ever seen. But yeah, that's a nice clean system now. Fully protected. Let's see how long we get out of this Worcester.